Hey guys. Um, <clears throat> the light's not very good there, is it? Hmm, let's see if I can make that better. Is that better? No, oh, it's a wee bit better. So tonight I wanted to talk about uh, decision making and how it helps your confidence. Now you might think that just seems a bit, mm, what? what do you mean? Let me tell you, it makes a huge difference, massive difference. Um, you may have heard me joke, which I do very, very frequently, that I'm a Gemini, so neither of my personalities can make up their mind. And whilst that's true a lot of the time, my most confident self is when I step in and make a decision. And why does that help us? Because we're not second guessing ourselves. We're not in situations where it's, oh, should I wear the blue or the pink? The blue or the pink? Oh, I don't know. Should I wear the blue or the pink? What do you think? Oh, you think pink, but oh, you think blue. Oh, should I wear the blue or the pink? And it goes round and round and round and round and round. And sometimes it's an internal conversation and sometimes it's an external conversation that we have with people to validate our decisions when we're feeling less confident. A more confident person and a more confident way of being is going, I got the pink. The pink is going to happen today. And then there's those situations where, this is one example of, how decision making can help you build your confidence and stay confident. And sometimes even the smallest decision, like what to have to breakfast, but have for breakfast, can set you up for a confident day. And that's why a lot of people you find with because we've spoken before about decision fatigue, when they take out a lot of the having to make decisions. That also helps with your confidence because you're not having that internal question or those, those external conversations about decisions that need to be made. And they can be like really not seeming very important decisions that can paralyze you and crush your confidence. And that's not what we want. We want confidence to be built up and us to get stronger and that muscle I talk about with confidence, you know, we really, really want that. So another example is when you're in a situation and you're feeling a little less confident about yourself. You might have had a bad day. Um, you might be a bit intimidated by the people you're with. And they're having a discussion. And they might be discussing something political. They might be discussing something, might be something in a work situation, an ideas kind of conversation. And you take the middle road. You're like, oh, I can see what they're saying. Mm, I can see what they're saying. So I'll just remain neutral because I can appreciate what you're both saying. Make a decision. You, you, uh, so, sometimes, yes, there can be a middle road, but sometimes it, you actually just need to go, oh, well, no, I kind of agree with that road or I agree with that road, but I think we should put something else into it. And if you, and I used to do this a lot and the other one's playing devil's advocate. We're like, eh, cause you kind of don't want to be seen to agree with somebody because you don't want to decide that they're right or they're saying something that you agree with, so you come in with another argument. Just stay in your truth and stay in the decision, the, the, keep your confidence going by making a decision and sticking to it. And one of the things with, there can be a lot of politicians especially, or there can be scholars, there can be coaches you've listened to, there can be business people you've seen, and you really don't agree with what you're saying, and a lot of the time you're like, Oh my God, I can't believe they believe that. <laughs> yes, totally agree with you. I have those conversations where I'm like, are you kidding me? You think what? However, they've still got confidence in themselves and they've made a decision about what they believe. They're following it through. They've stuck to it and that keeps their confidence going. So they're better off whilst you might completely disagree with the decisions they've made they're more confident than the people that are going, oh, I'm just not sure what I believe. Oh, I don't know how much good that's actually really doing. Make a decision, people. I promise you, if you start making decisions quicker, faster, get to it, you will feel better. I've This has been one I've really, really had to work on and I'm getting better off at it. I don't think it's definitely not perfect, but I don't believe in perfect. I've got a long way to go on it, I think. Yeah, and no, I do have a long way to go of it, but I am so much better and it really, really has helped my confidence. And it's it's the decisions and everything from what you're ordering at a restaurant to what you're doing with your business. It's so important that you just make them. 
Do not get stuck in indecision because it will absolutely crush your confidence. It will. Like, no doubt about it. That one you've got to agree with me on, okay? Decide to agree with me on that one. Now, if you haven't taken my seven-day confidence challenge, please do because it's fun. Go to woo 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 seven day confidence And that's the number seven, not the word seven. Sign up and have fun doing it. And I will see you. Oh, hey, Amanda. I will see you tomorrow. Mwah. Bye.